Can a $30 HDMI to USB capture device do as good of a job as one that costs five times its cost? We're about to find out together because in this video, I'm going to show you the Blue AVS capture device and we're going to look at video comparisons between it and the Elgato HD60S. And it all starts right now. Hi, Blaine Locklear here, and to supercharge your video game hardware and software through restorations, repairs, mods, product reviews, and other video game content, do that by subscribing. Let's check out the Blue AVS capture device. The Blue AVS HDMI to USB video and audio capture device is a plug and play solution for getting your video game footage captured to your computer. It supports a maximum resolution input of 4K at 3840 by 2160 at 60 Hertz and it can output video at HD resolution 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz. A brief unboxing reveals the included contents. The package comes with the HDMI to USB dongle, and it also comes with a USB extension cable because it may be difficult to seat the dongle into the USB port on your computer. The one thing not included in the box, however, is software to drive this device. I recommend using the OBS Studio. It's a fantastic app and it's free. I've got a link for you in the description below if you need a copy. What you're seeing here is OBS Studio and it's actually capturing through this device my PlayStation 4. This PlayStation 4 is not a pro model. It runs the high definition original generation PlayStation 4 video signal and audio signal. To make sure a comparison between this device and the Elgato HD60S is as reasonable as possible, I've set OBS to export video at 60 frames per second and also at 1080p resolution 1920 by 1080 This will match the output settings of the Elgato. And both devices will be set to export in MP4 format. Alright, with all of the settings configured, let's go ahead and go straight into the direct feed through OBS. Now you're looking at the direct capture feed out of the blue AVS device being recorded and output through OBS. I'm going to go ahead and launch Rayman Legends on the PS4 so that you can check out the audio and video quality of the output from this device through OBS. And I'm also going to turn off the background music so that you can hear the captured sound. <laughs> century. One entire century of yawning and snoring wildly. It seems that the heroes of the Glade of Dreams are under the effect of a mysterious soothing power. Or well, my little ones just needed to take a big nap. <laughs> Meanwhile, the nightmare is multiplied. They spread. They generated new demons, even more terrifying than before. The Glade of Dreams is in danger, my friend. Go! Quickly, wake up our legendary heroes! Okay, now that you've seen what the Blue AVS can do, let's take a look at what the Elgato HD60S can do with the exact same footage. Same PS4, same game, but this time I'm using the Elgato HD60S and the Game Capture HD software that's included with it. And just to make the odds as fair as possible, I've set the settings here also to PlayStation 4 mode, which is 1080p or 1920 by 1080 resolution at 60 frames per second enabled. With the settings in place, let's go ahead and switch over to the direct feed from the Elgato HD60S. <laughs> One 
century. One entire century of yawning and snoring wildly. It seems that the heroes of the Glade of Dreams are under the effect of a mysterious snoozing power. Or well, my little ones just needed to take a big nap. <laughs> Meanwhile, the nightmares multiplied. They spread. They generated new demons, even more terrifying than before. The Glade of Dreams is in danger, my friend. Go! Quickly, wake up our legendary heroes! When you were listening to this sound through the Elgato, did something catch your attention? Because it most certainly should have. And if it didn't, you may want to go back and listen to this with a good set of headphones on. Because here's the deal. I heard that sound come through the blue AVS and it sounded really flat. So I went back and double checked the settings. And here's what I found. I went back and double checked the audio settings in OBS to make sure I had set them correctly. And sure enough, I had set it to 48 kilohertz for recording and for stereo sound. But I went back and checked the specs on the Blue AVS and sure enough I found that it only supports mono audio output. And this is a big problem for any console made in about the last 35 years. This time, let's split screen this so that you can look at the Blue AVS on the left and the Elgato HD60S on the right. And I'll interchange the audio between the mono and stereo so that you can hear the stark contrast and difference in sound. One century, one entire century of yawning and snoring wildly. It seems that the heroes of the Glade of Dreams are under the effect of a mysterious snoozing power. Or well, my little ones just needed to take a big nap. <laughs> Meanwhile, the nightmares multiplied. They spread. They generated new demons, even more terrifying than before. The Glade of Dreams is in danger, my friend. Go! Quickly, wake up our legendary heroes! Yep, not even close. But there is an area where it really shines and that's for connecting your HDMI output mirrorless or DSLR camera and using it as a webcam for live streaming. See this is the official FaceTime HD camera on my MacBook Pro 16 inch. And here's that exact same shot but this time using the blue AVS HDMI to USB adapter with my Fujifilm X-T200 mirrorless camera with HDMI output. It does make quite a bit of difference in the overall picture quality doesn't it? You can use this device to bring your own camera to your live stream instead of having to rely on the cheap crummy webcam that's built right into your laptop or desktop computer and this will significantly enhance the overall quality of your live streams for your gaming. So for this purpose it's a fantastic device because it makes quick and easy work of converting any camera into a USB camera. So in the end analysis how do I feel about the Blue AVS HDMI to USB 1080p 60Hz capture device. Well, it's hard to beat up a device that does exactly what it says it's going to do at $30. It does, in fact, record HDMI video through USB to your computer using something like OBS or even QuickTime on Mac. 
The lack of stereo sound recording is going to be a deal breaker for any hardcore gamers or live streamers. While it won't replace your Elgato or other high-end video and audio capture device, I give this a 3 out of 5 stars. It does in fact do what it says it's supposed to do, and for 30 bucks, it's a great thing to keep around in your arsenal of tools. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on great original video game content as it's posted. And check out this video here, shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below. Thanks so much, I always value our time together, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.